Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our Selenite series. Today we are going to talk about in Selenite how to handle a JavaScript pop-up. Right? So today we are just going to concentrate on only on JavaScript pop-up that how to handle it. So for example, let's see, you go to this application and uh, if I'm not entering any username password and I'm directly clicking on sign in button. So this is called a JavaScript pop-up please enter a valid username. It's kind of a confirmation pop-up or kind of alert or kind of, uh, let's see, whenever you're making some transaction or making any payment, you are getting a confirmation message that are you sure you want to uh, make the payment? Are you sure you want to submit the form? Something like this. So this is called a JavaScript pop-up. You can say a model, a dialogue pop-up also, you can say that. So it's having a various names. But problem with this uh, JavaScript pop-up is that you cannot inspect anything which is available on this particular pop-up. For example, I cannot inspect this. I cannot inspect OK button as well. So what we have to do is, let's see, for example, if you right click on it also, I don't see any inspect because it's not part of this HTML DOM, right? So what we have to do right now, my current driver is available on this particular page and we have to switch to this particular a pop-up over here so we have to use switch to method just like we do it in selenium so how exactly we are going to use in selenite as well let's do that but i can inspect the sign in so the pop-up will come when you click on it right like this and then we will switch to this pop-up we will capture the text we will click on ok button and then we will see what are the other various methods are available for pop-up so i'll do one thing right click on it go to inspect at least try to click on sign in button first so here I can use by dot name proceed. I can use it over here, this locator and I'll come here and we know that, okay, in Selenite, what, uh, how to create a web element So to create a web element, we have to use a dollar and then I'm going to use a by dot a name and the name of this guy is this, it will create a web element and then I want to do a click on it. So let's see the pop-up will come. And then once the pop-up has come, for example, let's see what time being, I'm putting a thread dot asleep over here. So let's write, uh, thread.sleep for let's see for example five seconds of wait that i'm going to put so that the pop-up will be visible and then you guys can see that the pop-up will be there for five seconds and then i want to switch to this particular pop-up so to switch to this pop-up you just need to write switch to method available directly you don't need to write driver dot switch to the switch to method is uh, directly associated directly available in the selenite library and you can see that it's available under selenite target locator class okay so sorry uh, it's available under selenite switch to which will return the selenite target locator so i'll do one thing just simple write dot and then switch to where switch to alert okay and when you switch to alert it will return one alert reference over here and this alert is actually coming from uh, selenium only so i'll just store one thing inside the alert reference i'm going to store it over here like this okay and this alert you have to import from selenium so this is an alert library that they have given but you don't need to write now uh, switch to dot alert driver dot switch to dot alert you just simply write switch to method directly and then dot alert that's it and after that with the help of this alert if you really want to capture the text i can capture it for example i'm going to capture the text in a string so let's see string text is equal to this and then i'm going to print it on the console let's say i'm printing text on the console if you really want to validate that validation also you can write it so let's write one validation as well that assert dot assert equal uh, this is my actual text and what exactly you are expecting from the alert text. This is what I'm expecting. Please enter a valid username. So I'm just going to copy and then paste it over here. Okay, so this is my first assertion. After that, what exactly you want? After that, from this particular alert, I want to accept the alert. So accept the alert means it will just click on OK button. It means I want to uh, accept the alert. For example, let's see if any transaction alert is coming. Are you sure you want to perform this transaction? And there are two buttons yes or no or confirm or okay so when you click on okay request will be sent to the server but if you let's say you want to dismiss the alert i don't want to click on okay so in that case we have another method that is called alert dot dismiss over here see this method it means dismiss the alert don't accept the alert it means you don't need to send the request to the server here so that is what the dismiss method is available let's see to dismiss the alert or to cancel the alert like that right but right now, let's say I want to accept the alert. So I'm going to comment it out this line and let's see it is a working or not. So let's run as test ng. And uh, this is exactly like we do it in Selenium WebDriver, but in Selenite slightly different. Uh, see, waiting for five seconds. 
switch to this alert and it will capture the text and then the test is absolutely fine and you can see the console over here see please enter a valid username it is printing it on the console and then the test is getting passed over here and then the alert is also accepted fine sometime what happens is okay when you see this particular alert and there is an alert and you have to enter some value on that alert so there is one mat one more method is available alert dot send keys for example let's say if you go to some other application yeah see javascript alert is there and let's see these are the some simple sample alerts are available so for example let's see uh, click for js alert it's simple click on it accept the alert then again click for js confirm again okay and cancel so if you really want to a uh, dismiss it will click on cancel and let's see click for js and then it's saying one text is also available and then i want to enter something but remember on alert it's not part of your a web element it means it's not part of your html dom so i cannot enter anything so that's why i'm not able to inspect this guy so that's why for this we have to use alert.sendkeys method so this you can try on this application i'm giving you this assignment you just need to handle these three types of alerts one is alert confirm and the prompt here and here you have to enter for example uh, testing and then after that you have to click on ok button so you just need to write alert.sendkeys and then i'm going to write testing and then if you really want to accept the alert or dismiss the alert you can do that for example let's see this time i want to use a dismiss and that's it you just need to change the url and after that you have to click on this when you click on this just enter some value and click on cancel or ok button like that and remember one thing they all are three different types of alerts or pop-ups are there but this is a normal alert simple saying i'm a js alert with the message okay then this is called a confirmation pop-up alert for example i am a js confirm are you sure okay or cancel are you sure you want to make the payment okay and cancel button and this is called a prompt prompt means it's asking some value to enter for example uh, what is your name am i entering naveen over here okay are you sure you want to proceed yes and then click on okay something like this it's asking some answer from your side like this okay or let's see some survey is happening or something like that and there is a survey question and then you have to write the answer for that and click on ok button like this okay so this is what for example let's see if i'm entering a naveen here and then click on ok so naveen will be displayed over here like this so you can uh, verify that whatever you have entered it's getting displayed over here or not like this okay so this is your assignment just try on this application the heroku app.com and uh, just try the exactly same example that i told you on redifmail.com it's very 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 straightforward very simple remember here you don't need to write any uh, driver.swiss2.alert you can simply write swiss2.alert as well if you don't want to write swiss2 over here directly what you can do you can use a web driver runner also see this class web driver runner class which is coming from selenite and then there is a method the get a web driver method and get driver method this get web driver method will give you the native web driver that internal web driver the actual web driver it will return and then you can reuse uh, directly over here switch to and then dot alert you can use it over here as well and then you can store inside the alert reference and then you can write dot send keys dot get text dismiss accept these four methods also you can write it so this is also a valid way of writing it and they have given one direct method also switch to dot alert that is also perfectly fine either of them you can use it so this is about the alert confirmation pop-up and the prompt pop-up all three are having the same category that is called alert pop-up category that's all for this video guys i hope you liked it please subscribe to the channel i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all